Cake brought to you by Liverpool Physical Therapy, Burn Dairy, CH Insurance, and Brewerton Ace Hardware. Josh Allen, he is not overrated. Did you see him in week one? Yes, the pressure from behind. He didn't read that. The overthrow of Valdez Scantling late in the second half, throwing at a receiver's feet over the middle. Okay, that's fine. But did you see him yet again go into the into the uh, you know phone booth, put on the Superman cape, and go banana land, scoring four touchdowns for the Buffalo Bills? with his arm, with his legs, hurtling Buda Baker, and willing his team back from a double-digit deficit. Now, remember, the script was against the Bills in the first half. Yes, the Allen tur uh, turnover contributed to that from a time of possession standpoint, but once the Bills' offense got going and the defense made some plays, Gregory Russo's strip sack was amazing of Kyler Murray, put the Bills around the 21-yard line, I think, and then Allen threw an absolute dart to Khalil Shakir. Great pancake block by Deion Dawkins. He had a rough day, though, with the false start and some of the missed assignments. But that was an unbelievable block there. And Shakir scores. And obviously, the other big play was Josh Allen on that third and 11. was just absurd. The drive started with a penalty first and 20. They get a nine-yard gain. And then he's got to figure out third down like he has his entire career as a Buffalo Bill. All he does is hike the ball. He doesn't have anywhere to go. There's no protection. He goes up. He gets pulled by a defender. He goes around the right side and on pure, perfect, precision throwing ability, throws a laser to James Cook right in the bread basket. Thank goodness James Cook ran the ball and caught it yesterday without drops and fumbles and all the rest. And it was a first down, but it was vintage Josh Allen. And he was ho-hum if you take the touchdowns out of it. He was 18 to 23, amazing. The four touchdowns were epic, of course, but the yardage wasn't grand into the 3 3 400 territory, but he was still almost perfect throwing it, and he had four total touchdowns. This guy is anything but overrated, and he carried the Bills back. Yes, Bernard and, and, and Hamlin and Cam Lewis and Russo and Von Miller on defense, and uh, everybody was eating, of course, for the Bills uh, on offense, as promised. In the preseason, even though Dalton Kincaid got taken out of the game for the most part, and the Bills couldn't really, you know, develop anything playbook wise for him later in the game, everybody seemed to catch a ball here and there. It was Knox, it was Shakir, it was Coleman, it was uh, 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 Mac Collins for a touchdown, and all the rest. Everybody ate to a degree, but as Tim Graham of the Athletics said, they didn't gorge, but they did eat. Well, Josh Allen elevated those guys. He made them better. He threw it to nine different players and they caught balls. We had talked all day long about these players, but Josh Allen is the lead dog. QB1, Buffalo Bills, overrated? He is not overrated. ML Sports Take brought to you by Stanley Law Offices and Burn Dairy.